Hey guys, Will here with Coaster Dad. This is Lyle, as you know. We're here to meet with Abraham, and this is his backyard, and we're gonna build a coaster for him. In a couple of minutes, we're gonna catch up with Abraham, and Lyle and Abraham are gonna walk through the yard and kind of figure out exactly how we want this thing to go. So let's go catch up with Abraham right now, and we'll get started. Come on. All right. I have a nice backyard for it. I was thinking that if you drop down here, and then if you turn over here. See, that's the behind over there. So pretty much, I so, would think that it could go down that hill. That would be a good way to start it off because then it would have or, a lot of speed. Or maybe when it starts from there, then we could have it like flat surface and then make it go down here. That would also work. We're gonna have Cause to... it, cause you could tell it's much bigger than that part. Well, when my dad digs the post holes, then he'll decide which way he wants it to go. It's not going that way. Look, you just clear this part, like chop all that, and clear all that, then go this way. Clear all that and this. And that might work, but we... so we're gonna have too much speed. We go down there, and then and then there's like and then we are going to turn. Um, we're gonna tilt the track to the side, so there wouldn't be any force pushing you to the side. There would only be force pushing you down. So it would be a sharp turn, and we're gonna use um, that to our advantage by making it tilt to the side a lot. Oh, okay. So the differences between this roller coaster that we're gonna be building here and the roller coaster in our backyard in our backyard is that our backyard it just goes up and down and then it does a little turn and then up and down and then it's over really it's kind of a simple layout and it's it's awesome but it's not going to be nearly as awesome as this will be this is going to stay low to the ground and that for most people might not be special but at the same time it's going to be twisting and turning it's going to be really intense a piece of track is going to go over another piece of track which will be the first time we've ever done that. Um, it'll go a lot faster. I'd say that over here, there's about a 15 out foot elevation change, and it's already 15 feet high from the first drop, so there's probably gonna be a good amount of speed going into this. Um, we can place the supports closer to each other and we can reinforce it more because it's gonna stay low to the ground and we're probably gonna be using just as much wood and then some other differences is that we're using different types of pipe and a different cart. Our other cart was a red wooden cart that was about 150 pounds. This cart's gonna be between 30 and 50 pounds, pretty easy to lift up, and it's gonna be made of metal, it's gonna be more comfortable and much more aerodynamic. The difference is between the pipe we will be using, as you saw in our other roller coaster, our pipe is of white. What we're gonna be using, this, that's pipe level 40. We're gonna be using pipe level 80, which is gray pipe, and it's much, much stronger. So it'll make a smoother ride, and a more intense ride, and just an overall better ride. The one minor problems I can see with using pipe 80 is that it's more expensive and a lot harder to bend. So those are the only problems with it, but I think that we can easily get through it. Those are the two main differences between the roller coaster here and the one in our backyard. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. Abraham, what do you think? I think it's going to be great. 